it's another day another video what's going on you guys all right so the dog is sitting right out there uh if you haven't watched my last video basically i just made some food for one of the stray dogs because i had like excess food in the fridge and i didn't want it going to waste so he's out there right now so i'm about to take it out there too so my camera won't focus past this screen for some reason but there's a little dog right there and basically he sniffed his way over here found the bowl of water and the pork chop so he's going to work on it right there yo what's good i'm not sure if i closed out the last video with saying bye and all that other stuff so if this is if i didn't close out the last video this is another day basically of the vlog um just quick update changed around some stuff in my room got like my little clothing rack over here and my shoes up there um would want to show you guys my bed but it's it's a mess right now so i'll just go ahead and save you guys from seeing that um new pickups we got the game royals game royals came in and actually i got them for free so crazy story behind that is um basically the way I order shoes when I know that they're gonna sell out or they're gonna be hard to get, I cheat. I just mostly go ahead and buy a bot. And then basically the bot at the most is like maybe like $30. So $30 to secure the shoe. And then you gotta pay retail behind it. So it comes out to be, these came out to be a little under $200. So basically what happens, if he doesn't secure the shoe, then you don't have to worry about paying for it. So a lot of stuff went down. Um, quarantine was still in effect. So all the stores were closed and you could only get these shoes online. So basically went through, signed up for three slots, only got hit on one, but I guess he wasn't tracking it right. And the shoes got shipped straight to my house. And basically I don't think he knew that the shoes came in. So that's basically $200 back in my pocket. Like he didn't charge me at all or for the slot so i'm pretty pretty grateful for that um i will tell you guys the instagram page or the actual web page if you guys are interested just let me know i'm gonna go ahead and look out for the homie since he looked out for me um new update today too new update today too finally got a lifting belt like an actual proper like lever belt so i'll be hitting legs today just because uh, I hit legs probably like maybe three days ago, but I need to bring up my legs. Like I feel like my upper body is so much further than my leg progression, or than my leg progression. So that's one thing that I'm gonna work on. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this pre-workout and we're gonna head to the gym. All right, so we just pulled up to the gym. Quick update, just been stretching out. I've been trying to get better with using the foam roller. Now I'm brand new to foam rolling, so if you guys saw that clip before and you guys know it, like actual techniques of what to do for foam rolling, just let me know, send it to me please, cause I need that. But I just try to mostly work on um, providing blood flow to my legs for the most part, just because I'm hitting legs today and it's gonna be a quad and hamstring day today. So I want it, like there to be blood. I want there to be a pump. In order to like have a good pump, you need blood to flow to that muscle. So I'm just trying to warm up everything. Um, usually after I foam roll, I don't have to resort to cardio just because I'm already sweating and I'm ready to go. Uh, like I said, I took my pre-workout like probably like maybe like 10 to 15 minutes ago. So. I'm pretty much ready to go, honestly. Like, um, first we're gonna start off with barbell squat. I'm gonna go heavy today. That's the reason why I brought the belt, and I'm so glad it came just in time for a leg day. So, my PR has been 475, but that was before I kind of like hurt my back a little bit. It, it, it wasn't even really hurt it, but I took it further than where it needed to be when I was deadlifting. So, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna feel. I'm gonna test the waters today, see what I should hit today. It's gonna be a heavy day, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can get back to 475, at least for once. 
say what's up. <laughs> Y'all not safe cause I kept the receipts Don't leave yet, please stay in your seats Cause, cause, this is my ha, masterpiece Hey, what you gonna say when we up now? Say one word, that's enough now Finna go off, better duck now If I take you home, that's a touchdown Think I like you better when you face down Gotta keep the strap when you up round Hot streets not safe in my playground huh? Tryna chase me, but they really want clout Can't say shit cause you got a big mouth I'ma look out for the niggas down south Had to keep right, had to take a different route So I made it up to 315, so basically I'm just breaking out the belt. Now, still got the, put it this way, Jim Reaper's belt. Trying it out for the first time today. Never lifted with a, a lever belt, so this is gonna be a first. Hopefully, it ends up pretty well. I think it will, because I can lift 315, 405, went up to 475 uh, with like the thin bacon belt, but now this is something different, so. It's gonna take some time to get used to, so we're gonna go ahead and rep this 315 out. When you face down, gotta keep the strap when you up round. Hot streets not safe in my playground. Cuz, cuz, this is my ha, masterpiece. Knock, 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 who's at the door? Lay down the hammer, gotta call a meat door. Ice on my wrist, cuz I feel real sore. About to blow up, bitch, I'ma claim more. I'm the big dog, I don't need a mentor. Dre is the name when I go on tour. Got big racks, but I want a little more. Yeah, ha, gotta be real with you, I'ma stand tall. Couple niggas in this world wanna see me fall. Rock for my dogs, niggas, that's just slow. Made in this image, but I got a couple flaws. Feel like James, and I cannot miss. Cocked it back, and I got a full clip. I got the drip, but you won't get me slip. My hustle and flow, man, RP the nip. Ayy, you a friend of foe, you a hoe on the go. She a beast on the low, had to get a go, bro. Had to hit some up. We just finished wrapping that out. So, lifting with one of these belts is very different. Um, in the fact that when you squat down, all this pressure is just built up on your stomach and it's a thick belt. It's, uh, I believe it's 10 millimeters thick. The thickest belt you could get is 13 millimeters for it being, I guess, like USPA standards. But I didn't want to go to the thickest belt because I don't want to rely on just the belt to get up these lifts. So I went ahead with the 10 millimeter. Uh, 315 felt pretty good. Um, this is the highest I've been since quarantine, so <laughs> yeah, your boy's pretty weak, but we're gonna go ahead and shoot for 405 for one right now So let me go ahead up and load up the bar and get straight to it Alright, so we're in my room right now. Basically, I'm editing this video and I realized that I never close out the video basically explaining or giving the final description of the Jim Reaper's lever belt. So all in all, it's a good belt to have. I bought it because I realized, hey, I want to protect my lower back as much as possible. So I was like, alright, let me find what's the best belt to have and what's like an affordable price range. So basically, if you go on Gem Reapers, basically they have like different colors you could buy. I didn't want a 13 millimeter belt just because I want to still have a tight core when I lift. So I don't want to rely on just the belt just to make sure that I'm not hunched over or whatsoever. So that's the reason, that's the main reason why I bought a 10 millimeter belt. And why I went with Gem Reapers is because of the affordability. Um, the price that they emailed me and they told me that they could shoot to me was basically like well in my price range compared to some of the other expensive companies out there. So uh, that was the second thing. Uh, the comfort is pretty well. It's something that you're gonna have to get used to. It's very different from lifting with one of those like latch belts to where you like 
um, pry yourself into it and then just kind of like lock yourself in to those like thinner belts. Um, this one, sometimes you'll realize like it pinches like the corners of your hips when you go down to squat and I'm pretty sure it's very different to deadlifting. I haven't had the chance to deadlift yet, but that video will be coming soon if you guys are interested on how deadlifting is in the lever belt, just let me know and I could definitely do that. But I just wanted to go ahead and close out this video with closure on the Jim Reaper's lever belt. It is a great belt to have and I didn't want to hurt my back or have anything happen to my lower back so I am going to keep lifting with this belt and you can lift without a belt I just want to be careful and make sure that I'm doing the best for my body because I'm not a power lifter whatsoever I'm more of like a physique guy a classic bodybuilding type of guy so I like lifting heavy it's not in my field but we all have to challenge ourselves when we're in the gym just to make sure that we're making progress so I just went ahead, took the extra step, bought this belt as an investment, and hopefully it pays off, which I'm pretty sure it will. But thank you guys for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please share this video. Comment down below if you want to see like me deadlift or want a review deadlift video with a lever belt um, for all the bodybuilding guys or non-power lifting people out there. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. Peace.